So you're unemployed and you are wondering what you should and shouldn't be doing on LinkedIn. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact do's and don'ts of what you should and shouldn't be doing on LinkedIn if you are unemployed. Let's get started. But first, for all the guidance that you need to get hired, subscribe to my channel. I post weekly content that will help you along every step on your journey towards landing your dream job. Click the subscribe button and also click the bell to be notified whenever I drop a new video. I post weekly content and I do not want you to miss a beat. My name is Cindy Makita Dodd. I am a career strategist and coach, also founder of Hired Institute. I work with job seekers on a daily basis and I often get asked, Cindy, what should I post or what should I put on my LinkedIn profile if I am unemployed? I help job seekers go from unemployed to hired and today I am going to show you the do's and don'ts if you are unemployed on LinkedIn. Let's get started. Do include your most recent role in the work experience section of your LinkedIn profile. This includes your date of employment, the company, your position title, as well as your key achievements or responsibilities in the role. Don't add a new section that says open to new opportunities or seeking new opportunities. LinkedIn does not work that way. I want you to think of LinkedIn as your online resume and the same way that you would do it on your resume where you list your work history, you wouldn't put another job title that says seeking employment or seeking opportunities, right? You'd actually include your previous work history and that's the same thing that you should be doing on your LinkedIn profile. So please don't include a new position that's titled what you are looking for or that's titled open to new opportunities. This is not the way to go. Do update your headline with the target job title of the role that you are looking for, as well as with keywords that are career and industry specific. Remember, everything on LinkedIn is searchable by keywords. And in order to be found by recruiters and by employers that are searching the platform, you need to ensure that your LinkedIn profile is fully optimized to be found for the roles that you want. So if I am transitioning careers, for example, from academia to becoming a project specialist in corporate, I want to make sure that the keywords that I'm using in my LinkedIn profile are related to being a project specialist. Why? Because recruiters are not going to be searching for people that are transitioning from academia to project specialist, right? They're going to be searching for the title project specialist. And so it's key that you brand yourself for the roles that you want. Brand yourself for what you want to be found for. This is crucial on LinkedIn. Also, do not write open to new opportunities or seeking opportunities in your LinkedIn headline, especially if you are unemployed. Recruiters do not search for people that are seeking opportunities. They search specific keywords that are related to a job function or job title. So you want to make sure that you optimize your headline to be found for the roles that you want. Do ensure that you have the setting enabled that allows recruiters to see that you are open to new opportunities. You can click this video to watch how to do it. But this is different from having open to new opportunities in your headline because you control who sees this. You can limit the access for this open to new opportunities strictly to recruiters so they can find you for opportunities. You want to make sure that you have this setting enabled so that you can be found on LinkedIn. And lastly, do ensure that you have your LinkedIn profile fully optimized from top to bottom. If you want to be found for your next opportunity, your LinkedIn profile is the prime place that is going to sell you to your potential employer. So do the work, update your profile from top to bottom, including a profile image, a banner, a headline, the summary, etc. You can click this video on how to fully optimize your LinkedIn profile, but make sure that it's optimized because this is going to be what's selling you to the potential employer. Don't be afraid to showcase your best self, to network with others on the platform, because you could be just one person away from your next opportunity. Okay, let's recap. So number one, you want to make sure that you have your most recent work experience listed on your profile. Remember not to include 
open to new opportunities as a work experience. Think about this as your resume. So it's key that it actually lines up your LinkedIn profile with your resume. Number two, make sure that you update your headline. Do not use open to new opportunities or seeking opportunities. List the target job title and the key skills so that you can be found for opportunities when recruiters are searching. And then lastly, make sure that you update your profile from top to bottom because this is your online resume. It's what's going to be selling you to the potential employer. And don't be afraid to network, to ask for help, to seek guidance where needed as you take your next career steps. Being unemployed can be challenging. And that's why I've put together a toolkit to help you land your next opportunity. I want you to download my free guide, the Standout Candidate Toolkit, which is a 15 page guide to show you the exact steps that you can take today to not only get noticed for new opportunities, but stand out among the masses of job seekers to get noticed and get hired. A link to the download is in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips and advice on your journey toward landing your dream job. Comment below any questions that you have related to this video and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.